How come we didn't have jute boxes, neon signs, chopper bikes, American accents on radio, long-haired bands on TV? We didn't have schools emphasizing the study of humanities and the arts. And let's not forget, skateboarding. That was also banned once upon a time. So many questions, so little answers. I'd say we were too busy making money trying to make sense of our small town insecurity. We actually forgot we were born speaking Singlish. Simply because we had to be better, better than ourselves, better than what those Masale masters might think. So best that we deny Singlish, because it's perceived to be inferior English speak. Besides, we were too busy planning for a new city, inventing rules and more rules and still not enough rules. I mean, really, there can never be enough bloody rules. So where did we go wrong? How did I stop being desensitized like the others? Why am I not thinking like those everyday people in the city? So now we have jute boxes, chopper bikes, skateboarders, American accents. Twenty years too late! We're always playing the catching up game. The tiresome, delayed effect of dealing with newly groomed chopper bike Harley riders when all that should have been dealt with in 1979. As Boy George says, I know everything's changing for the better now. But honey, not fast enough for me.